Hello, welcome back to the tea of the day. And today I've got fresh marjoram. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a little excited and a little bit scared about this one because uh, if you saw my uh, dried marjoram tea, it didn't go so well. I wasn't quite fond of it, so uh, without further ado, I say let's give this a shot and see how it is, huh? No. Not quite. Ugh. Ugh. It's just a little too, um, kind of like the dill tea, where it gets just a t bit too dark and muddled in the, in the flavor. Um, kind of like if you're drinking spinach water or something. It's just not a good taste. It's a bit, it's not bitter, but it's just it, too dark is how I want to describe it. Um, just too too much of that greeny water taste that is not nice like if you're juicing stuff and you're like I'm gonna put all these vegetables together and make it a drink yay it'll be wonderful and you're like what does that taste that's because of the green vegetables that just don't taste good when you juice them that way I'm sorry they need other friends that have some sugars and stuff in them even if they're natural because it just doesn't taste good this isn't that bad but it's still, uh, it's got a bit of it, that dirty, dark taste to it that, you know, it's, it's not, it, the, the natural herb flavor of it isn't that exciting. I could see this being an accent flavor for a food and be perfectly fine, but as a drink, mmm, no, cheese fail. Sorry. It's not working. I wish it was, but it's not. Right, there's not much else I can say. Sorry, marjoram tea. You're not that good. But you know me. I'm still going to drink it. Have a happy tea day. Hope it goes better than mine. <laughs>